hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and in today's video you will learn basics about dialog flow uh, how it works and what are the different components of dialog flow and how to get started with dialog flow so let's dive deep into the video so when you search for let's say uh, dialog flow es console uh, I have used the word ES because now there are two dialog flow ES and CX. So when I search for ES console, I'll see this. Obviously, if you haven't logged in into dialog flow, it will ask you to log in. Use your Google uh, email to log in into dialog flow ES version. Once you logged in, you will see something that will tell you to create your first agent. But since I have gone past to these steps, I cannot see it and I cannot show it as well. But if I go to the list of agents, I'll see a create new agent button. And when I click on it and I provide a name, let's say uh, YouTube uh hyphen test hyphen agent white spaces are uh, not allowed in the name uh, make sure you uh, keep the existing setting as it is what you can do is that you can change the time zone to your default time zone if it doesn't catch that and when you hit create it will create uh, agent for you this can take you know one to two minutes depends on the you know uh, your internet speed and your computer speed once the process finishes you will see this kind of interface here on the left side we have some menus and settings on the middle part we have intents and on the right part we have try it now so this is a kind of a simulator to taste the agent this is where you can create intents and this part on the left side is all the settings so dialog flow has four basic components uh, one is intent second context uh, third entity and fourth fulfillment so you are seeing intents here contexts are inside the intent i'll show that entities are uh, parameters that are going to be extracted from the user's query and fulfillment which is uh, communication to the outside world so dialog flow cannot communicate directly to the outside world like third party apis or any other function you need to write a fulfillment so that dialog flow can communicate with the outside world there is also a gear icon next to the name of your agent and when you click on that you will see different settings here you can export the existing agent or import or restore from a zip file uh, you will share your agent with a developer so that developer can uh, see this agent and they can work on it now let's move to intent part here in the intent part you will see default fallback intent and default welcome intent so when i say hi here in the simulator you will see bunch of information this is my query this is dialog flows response this intent was triggered and the query score if i say something that the board doesn't understand it will fall back to default fallback intent and it will show a response from default fallback intent so now if i go to default fallback intent you will see bunch of things here the first thing is context so context binds intent one to another uh, event is not much important we will not emphasize on that uh, training phrases are the similar phrases that you want that intent to be triggered with 
so here in this case of default welcome intent you say all the training phrases uh, points towards uh, someone starting a conversation okay next there is action and parameter there is possibility that you want to extract some information from user's query that information is a parameter and that is captured here uh, in case you want to separate you know uh, your intent on back end you will use action name and here in the response part you can see we have text response and we have custom payload as well but this text response is the one that you see here uh, and in case of this four responses dialog flow will randomly choose one of these four and the last part is fulfillment section if you enable fulfillment it will not uh, get response from this uh, response section it will call your webhook fulfillment for the response and whatever your web hook will return it will shown here so now let's uh, you know take a look into context and let's take a look into entity so here i'll say that my context name is await name you see five number this five number shows that this context will be live for five uh, conversation i'll change that to one and i'll save this i'll create a new intent let's say user provides name in the context part i'll add that and in the input context i'll say await name i'll remove that from the output part and here i'll say my name is raj so this phrase will trigger the uh, intent you can see now name is extracted as system dot person i'll say raj i'll say it is raj let me correct that first i'll say i am raj now in the actions and parameter you see uh, one parameter is captured in the response part i'll say hello then i'll use uh, dollar person dot name to get the name of the person hello name how can i help you today and i'll save this now we have default welcome intent and user provides name intent these two intents are tightly associated with each other using context so if i say my name is raj it will not trigger uh, user provides name but when i say hi this will come from default welcome intent and you can see a context is set await name now if i say my name is raj we'll see the output here and you can see uh, if you uh, were if you were confused about how i have got this you can see i have got this from this particular thing so the parameter name is person which is an object uh, which has a key name and that is our value so i have used dollar uh, parameter name and uh, name to fetch the value so this is how you can connect intents with each other using context and extract uh, values from using entity and you can in this way you can build your agent obviously it is not possible to show everything in one video but still i would like to show you integration part here you can integrate dialog flow to different platform like uh, website using dialog flow messenger telegram using you know telegram api key on telephone side you can connect to uh, dialog flow phone gateway uh, using twilio vox implant and different uh, platforms 
next i would like to show you training so here you will see all the conversation happen with the chatbot and if you find that this uh, user query was not matched with any intent so you can click here and you can choose appropriate intent and attach this query to that intent for example my name is raj was not attached to any intent so i can click here and i say user provide name is appropriate uh, intent and you can see it has highlighted or it has marked the entity as well and i can click on approve next validation so if uh, something's wrong with intent you can see it here uh, there are also small talk so small talk is kind of a things like uh, about the agent so let's say who are you so i can say i am a piece piece of software and if i save this once you write uh, phrases for each these uh, type of questions you need to enable it and once you enable it and um, save it hopefully when you say who are you it will answer the question i'm a piece of software so this is how uh, small talk works uh, there is also pre-built agents that you can you know directly replicate and modify according to your needs so i guess this is it from the basic introduction of dialogue flow and i hope you have gained uh, some knowledge out of this video and if you do so please consider subscribing to my channel it helps thank you for watching peace